Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. Today we are back for part two, part two. I know it's a minute until. I know I said I'd go live at 8 p.m., but I wanted to go um, to come on a little bit earlier so that I could pin my comments, get everything ready and all of that. <laughs> I'm listening to myself, okay. So uh, today we will be talking about, okay, we will be talking about the number one secret, okay, the number one secret to accelerating your portfolio to multiple seven figures, multiple six, seven figures. Okay, it's eight o'clock. All right, here we go. All right, I came on a little bit earlier because I wanted to come on and pin my comments and everything, right? Hello, hello. Where are you watching from, everybody? Tell me, tell me, where are you watching from, okay? Um, and are you watching live? If you're watching this live, go ahead and type in live and where you're watching from. And if you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and type replay. This helps the algorithm, right? So that when you write replay, it posts it um, at the top of everybody's timeline so that, you know, those of uh, those, the people who miss the live can get to see the live. Okay. So um, let's see, where are you guys watching from? Where are you guys watching from? If you see me looking down, don't be alarmed. I am just pinning the comments on all of my platforms, okay? Um, usually, I go live using actual Facebook, um, but I'm actually using a, a platform called StreamYard, okay? And it allows me to, to go live on multiple different platforms all at once, okay? It's pretty cool. And so I can be all over the place, right? I could be on my actual Facebook page, which is my business page. I could be in the Facebook group, right? And I can also be on my actual personal page talking to you. So um, I don't have to go live into three different places all at once. Anyway, so enough about that, all right? You guys are here for the number one secret of how to um, accelerate your portfolio to seven figures. Now, those of you, type in a one in the chat if you were in the live that I did on Monday on Dr. Mar Martin Luther King Day. Type in a one in the chat if you were on that live. Okay. Type in a one in the chat if you were on that live. Let's take let's take a look at the chat here. Okay. I don't really see any chats coming in it. Okay. They'll probably come in later on. Okay. So I let's see. Let's see who's on. Let's see. Type in a one in the chat if you were. Okay. Cindy's watching. Elvira's watching. Okay. It says Cindy and three others. Who are the three others? Facebook. You got to give me more detail. Beatrice is watching. All right. Erica is watching. Beautiful, beautiful. So a few of you guys are watching. Good afternoon. Good evening. Okay. So if you guys were on the live on uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Day on Monday, right? You guys know that I gave the secret away, right? The secret was compound interest. And so um, I went deep, a lot deeper into compound interest than I intended to. And so I decided, hey, you know what? Let's do an, uh, a part two. And, uh, and today is the part two. So we're going to continue the conversation of compound interest. Those of you who are just joining us, right? The number one secret. Now, when you guys join a training with me, okay? One thing about me, you will learn about me throughout the training. I will tell you stories about me throughout the training, but I'm not one of those coaches that are going to spend the first five minutes or the first 15 minutes, okay, uh, 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 telling you all about me, 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 me. And then at the very end of the workshop, I give you a little bit of what I promised you, right? I'm going to give you the meat and the bones right away. And so the number one secret, right, to accelerating your portfolio to seven figures is something as simple as compound interest. That's it, right? You can get off the live. That's it. Bye. That's it. The live is done. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Obviously, we want to un understand compound interest and why. Why is it that easy? Why is the number one secret really that easy? Is you can't you mean to tell me it's just one concept, compound interest? Absolutely, right? And if you were on the line, we introduced what is compound interest, okay? And so um what I before I get into everything, right? Because I, I I went over a lot on compound interest on the first one. This one is a continuation. But before I get into all of that, right? I want to tell you guys that this style, this live here, is going to be the style of a workshop. Okay? There are lots of different styles of lives, right? Most people will tell you, you know, most gurus out there will tell uh, coaches like myself, hey, you want to get on on a live and you want to inspire people, right? You want to shift their beliefs and so on and so forth. And I do plenty of that, right? Those of 
you have been um, watching my lives, I used to only go live in my Facebook group. I never used to go live on my actual page, right? I just started doing that very, very recently. But those of you who had the, the privilege to be in my private Facebook group, you guys know I, I I go out there and I preach, right? I start preaching and I start feeling the emotions and I start shifting your beliefs. So I'm really good at that. But sometimes, right? Yes, the shifting the beliefs, the mindset is important, but sometimes you just need to implement. You need strategy. You need step by step. What do I need to do in order to implement this, right? Now that my mind is shifted, how do I put that into action? Because I'm going to tell you right now, mindset without action really means nothing. You can have the best mindset in the world, but if you're not actually doing anything, nothing's going to change. You're just going to have an amazing mindset. You're going to talk a good game, but when it comes to action, you're going to flop, right? And so the, the, um, the style of this live is going to be a workshop style, right? Okay. So those of you who, who are, if you're busy, if you're, you know, cooking dinner or getting the kids ready for bed, you know, or, or you're, you're doing something, you're answering emails or whatever, you're scrolling, you're driving, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because you can listen to what I have to say. And then you can always come back on the replay. And I'll give you a little, a little tidbit, by the way, one of the things that I do is when I can't catch somebody's live, like watch the whole thing or even take notes, I come back the second time. And then I actually uh, uh, change the listening speed to 1.5 or sometimes even 2x so that it goes really, really fast because I already kind of know what they're going to talk about. I just need the meat and the bones to be able to write notes. So you can always do that. So when you do come back to this live and you're taking notes, go ahead and write replay so that it helps the algorithm and it helps everybody. Okay. And I also would like to invite all of you who are watching me live right now, right? I'd like to invite you, okay, to actually watch till the end, okay? And I'm going to tell you why, right? I'm going to give you steps that you can take to implement what you learn. How many times have you watched a training? And type in one in the chat if you're with me, okay? How many times have you watched a training, okay? And you get all fired up and you're like, yeah, baby, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to do this and I'm excited. Oh my God. You know, you get some thought provoking things and you get some mind blowing gems and you're like, oh my God, she's dropping gems. I can't wait to implement this. And then you go ahead right? And you go ahead and you go right back to doing what you were doing. You go right back to cooking, right back to getting the kids ready for bed, right back to scrolling on TikTok, right back to answering those emails, and you never really implement anything, right? That's not going to help anybody, right? Yes, I know you guys love to see my pretty face. I know you guys love to hear me talk, okay? Because I, I can talk, right? I can talk. <laughs> I have I have some of my students, most of my classes, my, my private clients and those who are in my membership programs and, and so on and so forth, right? I, my classes are supposed to be about an hour and a half long. Sometimes I'm there talking for about two hours and they're like, yeah, keep going. So people love to hear me talk. I understand that. But hearing Kat talk, Hearing her, you know, move you and touch you emotionally and shift your thinking is not going to change your life. What's going to change your life is to take action. Yes, I heard this from Kat. Kat said to do this and she shifted my mindset around X, Y, and Z. I'm going to take action from it. Type in a two if you're with me. Type in a zero if I lost you, right? Okay. It is the action that's going to change your life. It is not the, the knowledge. Knowledge without application means nothing. They always say knowledge is power. Absolutely not. Knowledge is not power. There's so much out there on the internet. Why isn't everybody powerful? Why doesn't everybody have the, 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 the financial legacy that they want? right? It is implementing the knowledge that is powerful. So I invite you all to uh, Valerie, uh, Facebook user, all of you who typed in a tube, right? I invite you all to stay till the end of the live because I'm going to give you some actionable steps to implement the things that you learn. Okay. You guys ready? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, today you can expect, here's the two things you can expect on this live. You can expect me to review the concept of compound interest. Okay. And you can also expect me to give you another secret to accelerating your portfolio to seven figures, okay? Because I, the name of this live is the number one secret, but there doesn't mean there's only one secret, right? There are many, many secrets, but the number one is compound interest, okay? So last time we had some questions and I went to answer the questions on the live here, okay? The first question that I received was, how can I open a compound interest account, okay? Now, 
the reason why this person asked this question is because it seems like they think that there's a special account that you need to open that will inherently give you compound interest, okay? Although there is some truth to that, right? Compound interest is a concept. Everybody it, type in concept in the chat, okay? Compound interest is a concept, all right? The concept of interest on interest, okay? What does that mean, Kat? I'm still lost, all right? So let's say you had $10,000, right? And you wanted to get some sort of fixed interest. You wanted to put that in the bank or a CD account of some sort, okay? All right? So what you would do is you would put $10,000. And let's say they're giving you 2%. What's 2% of $10,000? Talk to me in the chat. What's 2% of $10,000? 2% of $10,000, right, is $200, all right? So basically, let's say they're paying you 2% yearly. That means every single year, you would receive $200 on your $10,000. Every single year, $200. Every single year, $200. Every single year, $200, $200, $200, all right? That is something called fixed interest because you initially put in 10K, right? You initially put in 10K, so your are principal is 10k, all right? And you get 2% on that. You don't get 2% on the profits, right? You get 2% only on the principal. The difference between a fixed interest um, situation or, uh, um, you know, vehicle and a compound interest, okay, is that the compound interest is interest on interest. And so not only would you get 2% of the 10,000, right? In year two, you would get 2% of the 10,200 because your account went from 10K to 10,200. And then after that, you would get 2% of that. And then after that, you would get 2% of that. And then now, you know, as the years goes by, right now, your 10,000 is getting bigger and bigger. Okay. Let me explain it even deeper. I'm going to tell you a little story. So, uh, uh, back in the day, right. Uh, when I first started doing this, okay. By the way, guys, if you guys don't know my story, I actually taught, hi, Marie, how are you queen? Nice to see you. Okay. By the way, if you don't know my story, I actually taught myself how to become a day trader back in, uh, it took me about two years to teach myself. So I started the process around 2013. Right. And then, um, and then I really, really like knew what I was doing right around 2015. Okay. So although I, sometimes I say I've been doing this for a decade, right this year, I can say that actually in May will be a decade that I've been doing this, but I really don't count those first two years because I was doing a lot of tri trial and error. I was looking for, I was Googling like stock market workshops back in 2013. It doesn't seem that long ago, guys, but that was a whole decade ago. Okay. A lot has shifted in the internet a decade ago. Okay. So Google was a decade it'll go was is not the google that you know now like right? right now you put stock market courses or you put stock market workshops you'll get a plethora of things you'll get youtube videos you'll get all sorts of things but back then you know, there was only like local workshops and so on and so forth. So I did a lot of trial and error. But anyways, so I, I found myself in a local workshop and it's, you know, of course, it was full of people who do not look like like us. Right. <laughs> and uh, full of white males. Right. Let's let's just be frank. Sorry if you're a white male watching this. OK, it is what it is. Right. Full of white male. And here I am, the only little black girl in the class. OK. And uh, and of course, the instructor was also a white male, but that's not important. <laughs> you know, when black people tell a story, they got to tell, you know, the race of everybody in the story. Why do we do that anyways? So I'm in the class and the instructor gets in front of the class and he's teaching the concept of compound interest. And he pulls a wad of of two thousand dollars. He pulls like a, a stack of money and all, and the actual stack of money is two thousand dollars. And then he pulls out a penny. He says, would you rather have this stack of $2,000, right? Or would you rather have this penny? And then he goes on to say that this penny is not just your typical penny. This is a penny that doubles every single day for the next 31 days. I'm going to repeat that, okay? He says, this penny is not just some typical penny. This is a penny that doubles itself every single day. Now, if you were in class with me, which one would you choose? Would you choose the $2,000? So type in a 2,000. Hi, Gerald. How are you, King? All right. Type in a, a, a 2,000 if you would pick the $2,000, all right? Or type in the, a penny if you would pick the penny. Now, those of you who watched the live on Monday, you probably already know the answer to this. But I want to play along here because I have some new people who I didn't see on Monday who are here tonight. OK, so type it in the chat. I want to see I want to see some answers. So if you had the chance 
to to get the okay some of you are saying penny you guys already know where i'm going with that why would you say the penny those of you who are saying who are saying penny why are you saying penny okay gerald said penny for sure all right you guys cheated <laughs> you guys are not but you guys are following me so you know stuff right that's not fair this is not a fair story to ask because when you follow me you get so much value you know some stuff right you're not the average person when you follow a cat so i love it all right <laughs> yeah exactly right okay so when you look at a penny thank you a facebook user i'm not sure who you are right? It keeps adding up, right? So, you know, obviously I'm in the class, you know, and, and by the way, and this, and you know what, this part of the story may not seem important, but it's actually pretty important. By the way, remember I said I was in a class full of white males. Literally, I was the, no, actually I lied. There was one, a, a black guy there. And we, of course we saw each other and we were, we sat next to each other. Hello. Like, Hey, we're the only, we're the only ones in here. Okay. We got to stick together. And, uh, and I, but the majority was white males. There was not, Actually, I don't remember any women in there. I was the only woman in there and I was the second black person in there. Okay. Um, and so in the room, in the room, right, a majority of them actually said the 2000. So what is the lesson there, guys? Okay. Let's see if you pick it up. I'm in a room full of white males learning about the stock market. Okay. So that means I'm, I'm, I'm part of the students, meaning that everybody who's a student is trying to learn about this, meaning they don't know about it. Right but they are all uh, uh they're all white males right and they all chose the 2000 not all okay some of them did choose the penny but um but a lot of them actually chose the 2000 what does that tell you about 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 the world what does that tell you okay let's see if you guys can catch that i know this is a very important lesson in the story right what it tells you is that you are not as far behind as you might think Guys, we beat ourselves up because, hey, you know, we're not privileged or we don't get we don't get what they get. That's not necessarily true. The difference is right. The difference is I actually drove to that class. They actually drove to the class. They didn't just complain that they didn't have the information. They went out there seeking it, guys. You are you and, and the, the people that you think are privileged. You are neck and neck with them. They do not have any advantage that you don't. There are a lot of things that they don't know just like you, right? So you are not as far behind as everybody else like you think you are. You actually have a chance to catch up. That's the little lesson there, but let's keep going, okay? I hope you caught that lesson. This is a very important lesson. And that's one of the reasons why I started doing what I do, right? I started doing what I do because I was in a room full of white males all the time. It's always, even I went to FIU, FIU, Florida International University, South Florida, Miami. It was three of us in the, in that finance program. It was me and another black, a, a young black lady. And then it was a, um, a young black male. And, and actually there was a fourth one, but he dropped out. Okay. All right. And it was nothing but white males and, and, uh, and people who don't look like us. Okay. And so guys, this is why I started doing what I do, because I realized that we can do this too, right? The same, the same things that, that, uh, uh, that, uh, that they have access to, we have access to as well. I don't want to make this a race thing because, you know, it, it, it's, it's not really a race thing. It's really a class thing. But the reality is, right, the financial industry is dominated by white men. OK, that's just the reality of it. Anyways, moving on to the story. I got off on a whole tangent. You guys know me. I always do this. OK. All right. So the penny, if you compound a penny on itself, right, if you double a penny in day in day one, you have a penny. Day two, you have two pennies. Right. Day three, you have four pennies. Day four, you have eight pennies. Day five, you have and so on and so forth. By day 10, you will have roughly around five dollars. Eh. Not too sexy. The 2000 sounds good right now. Okay. By day 20, you'll have $5,000. Hmm. Okay. We're starting to catch up to this. To, to actually, we surpassed the 2000. Okay. I was thinking 6,000 for some reason. We surpassed the 2000. By day 30, you will have $5.3 million. And by day 31, you would have over $10 million. Guys, that is the concept of compound interest. You're getting interest on interest on interest. And the longer you leave it alone, notice that in day five, you only have five bucks. In day 10, you only had five, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, uh, day five, I'm sorry, day five, you had what, 16 cents, right? I think if I do the math. 
So one, two, so one, two, four, eight, 16. Yeah, you have 16 cents. Day 10, you have $5. Day 20, you have 5,000. Day, day 30, you have 5 million. Day 31, you have 10 million. So a difference of one day made a difference of $5 million. Guys, this is a, a sped up version of compound interest, but it shows you the, the power of compound interest. Does everybody understand the compound, the power of compound interest? Does that make sense? Interest on interest on interest. And the longer you leave it alone, the faster it grows and the more powerful it gets. Any questions on this? Type in a two if you understood that. Type in a zero if I lost you somewhere, okay? All right, beautiful. Now, the next question that I had was, uh, 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 there was another question that I had. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I got, I got some twos. Okay. The next question that I have was, why is it around the same at the beginning? So those of you, we use the, um, let me share my screen here. Okay. Share screen. All right. Chrome tab, compound interest calculator. Okay. All right, you guys can see my screen? Yeah, you can. Okay, beautiful, okay? So remember we did a, an example here where we started, I think it was with $5,000, right? We were contributing roughly around $1,000 a month on this, right? And we did this for about uh, 15 years, okay? All right? And the estimated interest rate, we put it at 12%, right? And then in 15 years, we had roughly around 474. If you guys don't know what I'm doing here, those of you who didn't watch the one, go back. Uh, you can scroll back. It wasn't that far. Actually, it's pinned. If you're watching this on the Facebook group, it's pinned on the announcements. If you're watching this on my on my Facebook page or my business page, um, you you can just scroll up. It wasn't that long ago. It literally was Monday. Just go through my uh, my stuff through my wall, and you'll see it, and you'll be able to watch part one. I don't want to go over stuff that you know that I pretty much already went over. Okay. All right. So um, so one of the one of the ladies, I was looking back at the comments. Right. Notice at the graph here. You guys see my graph here. Let me make it bigger for you. Let's zoom in. Put it up here. Okay. All right, that's a little too big. Okay, there we go, okay? So notice the graph here. At the bottom here on the x-axis here, we have year zero, year one, year two, year three, all the way to 15, okay? And then on the y-axis here, we have the dollar amounts. Now, the green line here represents if I were to just put away $1,000 a month in the bank, if I were to just save it, okay? The red line represents if I were to invest it and take advantage of compound interest. Again, what is compound interest? Compound interest is interest on interest. No, it is not an account that you open that's called a compound interest uh, account, right? That was the first question. It is not a special account. It is the phenomenon, it is the concept, it is what's happening. It is how we describe how your money is growing, right? Because your investments are compounding over time. You're buying shares of companies or you're buying shares of index funds, right? And you're leaving them alone and the profits are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? That is the concept. Now, the red line here, okay, notice that at year zero, right? At year zero, it's, well, clearly that's the, that's the, the year that you start, right? Notice uh, here, okay, I don't know if you guys can see where it says future value. Let's see if I, yeah, future value would be um, 17,600. Total contribution is 17,000, okay? So what does that mean? That means on year one, you contributed, you started with 5k, right? Here, um, here on, on year zero, you started with 5k. The next year you added a thousand dollars a month to that. So that means you added a total of 12k type in a three. If you're with me, type in a zero, if I lost you. Okay. You started with $5,000 and then you put a thousand dollars every single month in that account. So in, in your investment account every single month for another year, there are 12 months in a year. So if you put a thousand a month, that means you put 12,000 for the year. Plus you already had 5k in there. That means you have a total of 17,000. So notice here, right? We have 17,600, right? Where did the 600 come from? Talk to me in the chat. Where did the 600 come from? I contributed 17,000 but the value of my account is 17,600. Where did that come from? Talk to me in the chat. Where did the 600 come from? Okay. 
I contributed 17,000, but the value of my account is 600. Let's see if anybody caught that, okay? It is the interest that was earned. It is the profits from my investments, okay? Now we keep going here. Year two, I add another 12K. So I contributed a total of 5K plus 17K plus another 12K, which will give me 29,000, okay? But notice the value of my account is not 29,000, it's 31,000, okay? And, and notice up year one, two, three, all the way to about year seven, right? It's pretty much almost neck and neck, but then it starts to really take off right around year seven. Someone in the comments last time asked me why. Why do you think that is? Talk to me in the chat. And look, year eight, it started getting bigger. Year nine started getting bigger. And then all the way to year 15, look how far apart those two lines are. Now we're, our compound interest is at 474K, but we only contributed 185K of our own money. You guys see that, right? You guys see, I only contributed 185,000 of my own money, but the value of my account is 474,000. Why do you think it started to take off around year seven instead of the first year? Why do you think that is, okay? Why do you think it took so long for it to really start to take off? Why didn't it take off in year one, okay? Like the penny concept, it snowballs. Yes, let's let's highlight this comment. Absolutely, Facebook user, right? By the way, it says that because I'm using StreamYard, guys, and StreamYard does not have your information. You have to give them permission to be able to use your name. So whoever you are, Facebook user, thank you, <laughs> okay? Yes, it's a snowball effect. When you started with a penny, remember day one, you had a penny. Day two, you had two pennies. Day, day three, you had four pennies. Day four, you had uh, eight pennies. And, and then it really started to snowball right around day, day 20, day 30, day 31, right? And so on and so forth. It's the same exact thing. Type in a one if that's clear. Type in a zero if I lost you somewhere. Type in a one if that's clear. Type in a zero if I lost you somewhere. Okay. Any questions on compound interest? Any questions on compound interest? Any questions? Okay. Now, uh, those of you who just joined us, because when I first started, I only had like eight people watching. Now I have like almost uh, three times that amount. Okay. Right. Those of you watching, one of the things I challenged everybody on when we first started was to stay till the end. OK, why you want to stay till the end? Because this type of information type in a five in the chat. If this would have changed your life, if you knew about this 10 years ago, type in a five in the chat. If you knew about this concept, how would uh, type in a five if this would have changed your life? Type in a five. OK, type in a five in the chat if this would have changed your life, if you knew about this 15 years ago. Type in a five in the chat if you knew about this 20 years ago. Type in a five in the chat if your parents knew about this and they started this for you before you were born. How would this have changed your life? Right. OK. All right. And so, yes, you came on this live. You probably right, uh, Marie. Marie wrote five five times. <laughs> That's right, Queen. Okay, five by five. Right. Okay, beautiful. All right, five exactly. Right. Now you came on this live, and you probably were on the live on Monday. Okay, and if you weren't, you can always go back and watch the replay. It's still available. It's going to be available until the end of the week. Okay. All right. You came back. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. You came on this live. I lost my thought for a second. Right. You came on this live. You got the information. Now, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to say, oh, my God, are you going to call all your friends and say, oh, my God, you got to watch Cat. You know, got to watch this live. By the way, share the live. Share the live. Those of you who are sharing the live, I get to see who, who shares the live. Share the lives. Type, uh, uh, you know, tag your friends, right? Spread the knowledge. The more people know this, right? The more powerful our community becomes, all right? Share the live, share it with all your friends, right? Uh, 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 type in their name, tag them and so on and so forth. Anyways, right? So now that you know this, I'm going to ask you, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to say, oh my God, this is amazing? Or are you going to take action? And so I invite you to stay till the end right? Because I'm going to give you some actionable steps so that you can take action. All right. Type in a seven. If you're going to take action, type in a zero. If you're just going to sit there and just keep watching videos all day, type in a, I don't even know what I said. You guys remember what I said. <laughs> I think seven. Yeah. Type in a seven because that's the divine number, right? Seven is a divine number. Seven is the number of the Sabbath. 
Seven is the number of manifestation. Seven is the number of divinity. Okay. The world was created in seven days. Type in a seven if you're going to take action to create a new reality for yourself and for your family and amplify your financial legacy. Type in a zero if you're just going to keep watching videos all day long and never do anything. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Now, how do I put this into play? Okay. Let's stop sharing for a second. Okay. You see my pretty face now. Okay. Now, the second secret, and it's not, it's actually, I, by the way, all of these are not really secrets. Okay. By the way, none of these are really secrets. Okay. Shameless, shameless plug guys. If you haven't signed up for the, for the challenge, if you're loving this live and you're like, cat, I need more. Okay. We're actually going to go over all of this in detail and more in our, um, in our three day next level of income challenge. So click on the link there so you can, um, so you can sign up. Okay. It's on the pin comments. Anyways, Let's get back to it. Okay. So these are not secrets, guys. They're just secrets because we we want them to be secrets, right? We just we turn our blind eye on it or we decide that it's too intimidating and that we'll get to it later. And so it stays a secret, but it's really not a secret. But anyways, the second secret, okay, is the wealth formula. Type in a one in the chat if you've ever heard of the wealth formula. Type in a one in the chat if you've ever heard of the wealth formula. Have you ever heard of the wealth formula? Type in a one in the chat if you've ever heard of the wealth formula. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, what is the wealth formula, okay? Those of you writing notes, and if you cannot write notes because you're busy driving or you're, you're, you're jogging or you're exercising or getting the kids ready or whatever the case is, make sure you come back on this line, on this live. It's 8.30, so go fast forward to the 30 minute mark. Okay. Fast forward. This is perfect. Actually, it's exactly 830. So fast forward to the 30 minute mark. Okay. And, and take your notes. All right. So the wealth formula, the wealth formula is write this in your notes. Number one, business, write this in your notes. This is exactly what I went over in my speaking engagement on, on, uh, last Saturday. That was so much fun. I miss being in person. I'm going to do more of those. So I get to meet all of you guys in person. So you can feel my real energy, right? By the way, I'm the same person. <laughs> Somebody said that. They're like, you're actually way more fun in person. <laughs> I was like, me? more fun. I thought I was fun online, but apparently I'm more fun in person, right? And so, yeah, I'm actually, if you ever get to meet me in person, I, I'm, I feel like I'm the same, but everyone says I'm more fun in person. So imagine if you think I'm fun online, apparently I'm more fun in person, okay? But anyways, um, so number one is business, okay? Business. Number two, investments. And yes, they can be stocks, absolutely, right? But there are alternative investments. There are other types of investments, okay? And number three is real estate. Why do you think that is part of the wealth formula? Who created this wealth formula? Kat, how do you even know this thing exists? Well, if you look at the, the top 1%, if you look at all of the wealthy, they all have these three things in common. They have some sort of business. They have some sort of investment, whether that's stocks, and, and most of them do have stocks, actually, right? I can't say all of them do because I haven't looked at everybody, but most of the wealthy that I work with have stocks, okay, right? Some sort of stock, some sort of investment, something that's growing their money, okay, and some sort of land, whether it's land, whether it's real estate, whether it's commercial, whether it's residential, whatever it is, they get land, okay? And so success leaves clues. I'm going to repeat that. Success leaves clues. And so we're not here to reinvent the wheel. If we're going to be successful, if we're going to build financial legacies for our families and for our community, right? We don't want to reinvent the wheel. When you have money, when you have life-changing money, you can then reinvent the wheel. But at the level that we are right now, and I put myself in there, right? I don't have life-changing money right now. I changed my life with my money, my life, right? And I'm changing yours, right? But I haven't reached the world yet. I haven't reached my, the ninth generation in my bloodline yet, okay? All right? So when you have a life-changing money, generational wealth, when you have that, then you can reinvent the wheel because you could buy a new wheel. You could do whatever you want. But right now, we just want to follow the clues that success leaves. And that is business. Why is business part of the formula, right? Business is your cash machine. I'm going to repeat that. Business is your cash machine. This is your ATM. This is how you create cash out of thin air. A lot of people think, right, uh, especially in 2020, 
in 2021, a lot of the students would come into my DMs thinking that they could create cash out of thin air from the stock market. Eh -eh, that's not what the stock market is for. You want to create cash out of thin air, open a business. People would tell me, hey, Kat, I want to make more money. Okay. All right, cool. I want to invest in the stock market. Beautiful. How much are you starting with? Oh, $500, $500. You want to make a million dollars from $500 in the stock market? That's not happening. I don't know who sold you that dream. Absolutely not happening. That's not what the stock market is for. You could put $500 in a business and put your blood, sweat, and tears and create a million dollar business. Absolutely. Yes, you can, right? So the business is a cash machine. This is the cash cow. This is what's going to feed everything else. So when we talk about seven sources of income, guys, I know you guys heard the myth of, oh, most millionaires have seven streams of income. It doesn't mean seven different businesses now, right? You don't need a funeral home, a t-shirt business. You don't need a, radio, a rap career. You don't need a, a all different types of business. You need one business with seven streams from that one business. True story. I remember when I first started doing this, I met a guy who owned a funeral home. He also had a, a t-shirt business on the side. He also did taxes on the side. And he also had a rap career, if you can call it that. Why? The funeral home itself is a million dollar business. When you spread yourself that thin, you can never give, give one business your all. And so none of them will ever take off. I'm going to repeat that. When you spread yourself too thin with seven different businesses, right? You spread yourself too thin. None of them are ever going to amount to anything. You'll make money. You'll make a little bit of money and you'll continue to make a little bit of money. But you want to give your all to one business. Take a look at Apple. How many streams of income does Apple have? Talk to me in the chat. How many streams of income does Apple have? Talk to me in the chat. Or, or actually, you probably don't know the number. What are the different ways Apple makes money? Talk to me in the chat. What are the different ways that Apple makes money? We've got the iPhone, got the iPad, got the watch, the Apple watch. You've got iTunes, got ITV. You've got the, the Apple card. You've got computers right? You've got the I, the cloud, cloud system, computing system, right? All of the different ways that Apple make money. That's the type of business you want to have. You want to have one business that have multiple streams, multiple ways of making money. That's the myth here. It is not seven different businesses. Type in an eight if you guys are with me. Type in a zero if I lost you somewhere, okay? Does that make sense, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, Kat, I don't want to start a business. That's hard work. I, I don't, that entrepreneur life, I know that Facebook and, and Instagram and, you know, social media is glamorizing, you know, that entrepreneur life, but I, I don't want to be, no, I don't want to start from scratch? I don't want to do that. Do you have to start a business from scratch? Talk to me in the chat. Yes or no. Do you have to start a business from scratch? Do you have to start a business from scratch? No, you don't need to start a business from scratch. You can buy a business, all right? You can do owner financing. You can get financed by the SBA. The SBA has loans that are specifically for people who want to buy businesses. You buy a business just like you buy a home. You put a down payment right? It's not called a mortgage because you're not buying a home, but you get financed and you can get financed through a bank. You get financed through private investors. You, you get a group of people, put your money together and buy the business together, right? There are multiple ways that you can get creative to finance a business, okay? Another thing you could do is profit sharing. Profit sharing is where you're not necessarily buying the entire business. You're investing in the business and you share the profits with the owners, okay? right? You're investing in a part of the business. So instead of, 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 you know, buying out the whole entire thing and now it's all under you, right? Maybe you get 20% of it and you now inherit 20% of the profits or you now inherit 20% of the assets. Okay. So there are many, many ways that you can be creative with the business part without having to start a business uh, from scratch. Now, a lot of you guys, maybe you don't have the credit or you don't have the network to be able to buy a business or whatever the case is, and you have to start one from scratch. Or maybe there's something you're passionate about. Like me, I started my business from scratch and I'm still going, okay? You're in the middle of it with me. You're, you've seen my journey and you're part of it, okay? Beautiful. Moving on to investments, okay? Your investments can be stocks. It can be bonds. It can be precious metals. It could be private equity, investing in private businesses, okay? It could be art. 
It could be wine. It could be bourbon, right? It could be oil. It could be gas. It could be projects. Maybe you invest in projects, solar energy projects, right? Wind energy, alternative energy projects, right? Okay. Uh, 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 um, projects, uh, development projects in the in third world countries. Okay. So you can invest in startups. You can invest in many, many different things. Those of you who are going to be joining us in the, the three day challenge, we go into detail about each and every one of these. Okay. And then lastly, you and real estate. Okay. Real estate. Why you can't make any more land. Okay, so you want to definitely have you guys who want to talk about generational wealth. Well, one of the easiest ways to do so other than life insurance, right, is to buy real estate. Imagine if you inherited a home or two from your parents or for your grant from your grandparents. Imagine if you didn't have to worry about rent because you inherited a home. How much further would you be in society? How much further would you be in your finances if you didn't have to worry about a mortgage or rent? Talk to me in the chat, right? Imagine that you did not have to worry about rent. Imagine that you didn't have to worry about mortgages. Guys, this is how you build generational wealth. You didn't have that privilege. Make sure the person that comes after you gets that privilege so that we can advance as a community together. I'm getting preachy again. <laughs> okay, all right. So business plus investments, plus real estate. That is the wealth formula. The number one secret to building a seven-figure portfolio is compound interest. Now, why did I talk about these two, right? Now, let's go back to, let's present, let's go back to, okay, why, why did Kat even talk about this? What was the point of it? How does, what does this have to do with compound interest? Let's put it all together for you, okay? Now, remember when, sorry, okay? Remember when we were looking at this, right? When we were looking at this example, this person started with 5K and they were putting $1,000 a month. What would happen if I were to change this 1,000 to 5,000? What would happen, okay? Look, 1,000 will get me to about 474,000, okay? What would happen if I were to change this to 5,000? Okay, what would happen if I were to change this to 5,000? Look at that. The same exact thing. I didn't change anything. All I changed was the amount that I was putting in. I started with 5K. I'm putting in 5K. And now I'm, I'm still investing for the same 15 years. I'm still getting roughly around 12% return. And now in 15 years, I have $2 million instead of just $400,000. How would I be able to do this? Talk to me in the chat. How can I go from putting in $1,000 a month to, to putting in $5,000 a month? Talk to me in the chat. How would I go from putting $1,000 a month to $5,000 a month? How would I be able to do that? Okay. Marie says far. Facebook user says could invest the rent or mortgage money in a business. That's right. Exactly. Right. More income. Remember that cash machine I talked about? Remember that cash machine? I didn't say seven different businesses. I said one business that's got seven different. Actually, you need more than seven. Actually, you need way more than seven. Apple's got way more than seven. You want you want at least 14, 14 to 20. But anyways, that's beside that's 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 saved for the challenge next week. OK, we're not going to give too much away. All right. OK, so if you want more, go uh, uh, sign up for the challenge next week. All right. Right. Increase your income. Yes. Via the wealth formula. Let's go, Facebook user. I don't know who you are, but thank you. You gave it. You, there you go. Right. Increase your income. And so the number one secret is compound interest. And the one that's tied to it is increasing your income. Guys, want to know what number three is? I, was gonna, I wasn't going to give that one away. What's number three? What do you guys think number three is? Let's see if you can guess. Let's see if you can guess. And, you, and if you come to the three-day challenge, you'll, you'll get the answer. What do you guys think? Let's see if you can guess. What would be the third secret? So the first secret is compound interest. Second secret is to increase your, uh, your, your income via the wealth formula. What is the third secret? Let's see if you guys can guess. I want to see your guessing. Okay. <laughs> I guess you guys are typing. All right. I'm going to leave that one for the challenge. So if you want to know what the third secret is, um, sign up for the challenge. It's free, guys. There's no excuse. You know how I, I, I can't tell. How many people complain to me about how there's not enough information out there? They don't know. And there's not, you know, every time they try to look for stuff, there it's not available and all of this. Here I am. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a lot of gems for free. 
Okay. And there's, there's no reason why anybody on this live does not sign up for it. I, there's about uh, 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 almost 30 of you on. I better see 30 new signups for, for, for that free, for that free, because you know what happens guys? Uh, this is what happens in, in, in people like, um, let me stop sharing real quick. Let's have a, let's have an intimate conversation. I went over, I kind of went over time. I wanted this to be for more than no more than 40 minutes, but let's have an intimate conversation. People like myself, okay, who have reached a certain level and who are continuing to grow and who know so much, who are so knowledgeable, we want nothing more than to teach you. We want nothing more than to reach out and bring you along with us. But man, do you guys make it hard. And I don't mean you specifically, right? Because you're here, you're watching this on a Wednesday night and you're here at the same people. I have literally have seen this, this little thing, this little eye thing is showing me how people are watching. It's been the same for the past 40 minutes and you're still on. So it's not you, but you know how hard you guys make it for us. You complain and complain and complain and complain. And this is why a lot of people like me right? We'll start charging a lot of money because the person who's going to pay a lot of money is not going to complain. And so very rarely do you see people doing free stuff like I do. And when they do, they don't really give you much. They just get you in free just so they give you just enough, just enough so you can sign up for their program. And that's it. And, they, and if you don't sign up, well, good luck. Good luck learning this stuff on your own, right? And so when I give, when I do these things and I make it free and then I don't see people show up or I don't see people sign up and I'm like, well, what's the point of even doing this? They don't want it. So I'm just going to keep doing my paid stuff because the people that pay to be here, oh, trust me, they show up when they pay, they pay attention. And so especially the higher the price, my higher level, my private clients who are paying me 20 K and up, oh, they show up to every call. They're never late. They do their homework. They do the work. Why? Because they pay 20K to work with me. But when it's free, it's like, oh, I'll get to it when I get to it. And so people like myself, coaches like myself, right? I want to give you the insider. I'm having a real conversation with you. Coaches like myself will not do free stuff and give you all of these gems because the, the it's, it's never re reciprocated, okay? So I, I'm doing a free challenge for you. I want to see every single person on this live, even you're watching the replay, to sign up for the free challenge, even if you can't make it. If you can't make it, there's a VIP um, there's a VIP option to be able to upgrade uh, to upgrade VIP, and you'll have access to the replays. No excuses. And I made it a very small amount that I know that everybody in here can afford. Okay. All right. So now I told you guys to stay till the end because I had actionable steps for you. Okay. So your first actionable step. All right. Let's share my screen. Your first actionable step. All right. Bear with me here. Okay. Is to sign up. I already kind of talked about it. I drilled it in your head. You're going to go to nextlevel.katianacarry.com. It's in the pinned comments. You'll see it. I pinned it on all of them right? You're going to go there. You're going to see this certified money coach. That's me. I'm actually certified in this. I have my licenses. I have experience. I have done this. I have helped my clients do this. Okay. You're not just learning from someone who read a book and then now they think they're a guru. Okay. You can see right through those people, by the way, right? Cause they don't, they're always talking about the same thing anyways, right? You're going to put your name in here, your phone number, you're going to put your email and you're going to click on yes, sign me up. OK, you don't even this right here is if you want to scroll and know what's about. You don't even need all that. You already know what you're going to get. You know, whenever you're on a train with, with, with Katiana, you're going to get value. OK, but this is like the formal stuff. If you want to read it over all of that, but just sign up. OK, that is the first actionable step that is telling you that is the telling the universe. Yes, I am taking my wealth building journey seriously. And I'm showing up for myself and my future self and my children and, and all of the people in my family, all the people in my community. OK, the mm -hmm. next thing that you're going to do. OK, the next thing that you're going to do, let's stop sharing. OK, next thing that you're going to do is you're going to write down different ways that you can make more money. Just keep writing. Keep writing. What are the different ways that you can make more money? Because when you start, when you think, hey, I just need to make more money, and then you just leave it at that, there's no money being made. You just, oh, I, I know I need to make more money. So what's the plan? What are you going to do about it? I know I need to make more money. What are you going to do about it? Cat, hello, I make good money, but I need, I still need to make more money. What am I doing about it? I'm here. I'm showing up for you. That's what I'm doing about it. Okay? All right? And so what are you going to do about it? How are you going to make more money? 
Type in an eight if you're going to commit to doing this. Type in a zero if you're like, yeah, yeah, this is nice. It's nice, but I don't have the time. This is nice, but the kids. This is nice, but work. This is nice, but whatever. Insert excuse here, whatever it is. Okay. Type in an eight if you're going to do it. Type in a zero if you're going to find an excuse to not to do it. You can be, just be honest with yourself. If you say, Kat, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to find an excuse not to do it. That's a lot of energy that you're using to find that excuse. I just want to bring that to your attention. What would happen if you use that same energy to find out how you can do it? It's not that I can't do it. It's how can I do it? I'm going to repeat that. It's not that I can't do it. It's how can I do it? Because when you really want something, you find a way. You, the job is still there. No matter, what, no matter what you're doing, the job is still there. The kids are still there. The husband is still there. Whatever it is, that project you got to do for work, whatever it is, is still there. But you find a way. You make time for it. Why? Because it's important to you. So if this stuff is important to you, you're going to make time to find ways to increase your income. Okay. All right. Any questions? A any questions? Any questions? Questions. All right. So I'm going to look at my, my signups. I better see about 30 new signups. If I don't, it's okay. There's always next year. Cause I know you're not going to do it this year, right? Cause you said you were going to do it this year. It's January 18th, honey. I don't know when, when this year is supposed to start for you, I guess in February and then March and then never. Okay. Yes. I'm calling you out. <laughs> If you haven't been on a live with me, hello, this is Katiana. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, I don't see any questions. I don't, oh, somebody was uh, uh, guessing. Be consistent. You're close. Marie, you're close. Yes. You guys are close, but you'll get the real answer when you come on the uh, three-day challenge. You guys are close. Okay. Beautiful. Any questions, co comments? Okay. Beautiful. Marie signed up. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, I will see you our next live. I'm going to try to go live on Saturday if I have time. I'm not making a promise. It'll be a surprise live. I will announce it. Um, and then definitely next Monday, okay? All right, I love doing these lives, especially when you show up and you and you type it in the comment. I feed off of your energy and it's fun. Okay, this live was way longer than anticipated, but you guys stayed on till the end. So it looks like you got some value. All right, guys, share the live, tag your friends, type in replay, watch it over and over, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.